New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Luke F Boy. That's his name. Luke Boy, you could argue that Boy is really the Yankees captain as of now. Just imagine being teammates with Boy, that kind of energetic personality. You could see why these B-list Yankees are doing so well. Luke Voigt is going to go down as one of the biggest heists since the great Bambino, if he keeps it up. I know that's a very large compliment. We haven't seen much of Voigt, but if Voigt continues to at least produce like an all-star, you could at least make that argument for a season. Luke Voigt is like Jason Giambi without the contract, but better. I'll say 50% better because Gi Giambi, when he was a Yankee, he had his moments here and there, mm, whatever, you got what you got from Giambi. But in my opinion, he didn't live up to his contract. With Voigt, who was being paid nothing compared to Giambi, I'm comparing them to him because they are very similar defensively. And you could argue offensively as well. What I'm trying to say here is, long story put short, they're built the same physically. Obviously, as of now, Voigt is on track to being an all-star. He's on track to being in the home run derby. And honestly, everybody knows he's on track to being one of the premier superstars in Major League Baseball. So when I compare him to the great Bambino, I am talking about the heist. History showing how the Yankees obtained Roof. And yes, in this situation, the Yankees completely pulled the robbery for Voigt when they dealt Shreve to the Cardinals for him. Look, say what you want to say about Cashman. He has his weaknesses, but he has his positives. His positives are he's great drafting international players, and he's also great at pulling these trades like Voigt, some of these players that you never even heard of, like your Didi's, like your Hicks, like your Voigt's, even Topman. If he continues to hit, he'll raise his batting average up and he'll look like a legit pickup. But then Cashman has a weakness. This weakness being, you know, letting Cole go to the Astros, letting Verlander go to the Astros. You know, he doesn't have a great track record when it comes to obtaining that, you know, star player or whatever that's going to take you to the next level. So in my opinion, it's 50-50 more on the positive side when it comes to Cashman. But like I said, every GM has their weaknesses, but no other GM in baseball is touching Cashman when it comes to players flying under the radar and making those trades for players that could have a high impact on your ball club. It's a very special talent that the Yankees front office, the analytical staff, and Cashman have. It's not picking up players from the wires, actually scouting these players, looking at their exit velocities, etc., and they're pulling the right triggers because obviously... All these other clubs are, you know, they can make these same trades, but the Yankees have, you know, the heads up in this department. And look at that. The Yankees are reaping the benefits of their analytical staff in this aspect as Boy is performing like he's making $20 million per season. And from the top of my head, he's making about, what, 500 k per season? I don't know, 300 whatever, something like that. Basically, he's not being paid nothing compared to players making millions of dollars, and Voigt is performing, outperforming these players. And if you ask me, he's similar to Todd Frazier. When Todd Frazier was a Yankee, he enlightened the Yankees clubhouse. I mean, that's Luke Voigt times 100. This guy's a really a clown, and you can obviously see that he has a Yankees clubhouse upbeat and joyful. So it's just a great pickup overall, and really, if he continues, he's going to be one of the biggest heists in recent modern day baseball history, period. And for people that keep up bringing Greg Bird, comparing him to Voigt, oh, bye bye, Birdie. You know, don't even put his name with Voigt anymore. It is out of the question. Voigt is in another league. Luke also has a unique swing. He kind of reminds me of Japanese players when they uh, do that little Japanese step. So overall, Voigt is really a unique player and props to the Yankees front office. Of noticing because obviously the Cardinals chose another player over Voigt and they practically gave him over to the Yankees for basically nothing. Not that Shreve wasn't a popular guy in the clubhouse, everybody loved him, but really when you analyze that trade, the Yankees pulled the heist.
Luke continues to rank a whole bunch of homers here and there. And every time he performs the Yankees front office, they're popping champagnes because you can see, you can tell that Cashman loves this kind of, you know, small market team type approach to being a GM. Obviously, he likes it. It's not an excuse to defend the Yankees. Obviously, the Yankees have billions of dollars. They're worth billions, zillions. It's not an excuse to defend them. But you can tell that Cashman likes this approach of being sort of like a Billy Bean type of general manager. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about King Voigt? Do you think he's an all-star this season? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.